Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 16th of 2020 and ever since the very end of the Skywalker saga, a lot of fans have been very skeptical about the future of the Star Wars franchise and exactly where things are going by Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, and others. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of right now, they are in a real situation where they really have to figure out exactly how to really succeed in really evolving the Star Wars brand to really attract not just the original Star Wars fans, the hardcore Star Wars fans, but also new Star Wars fans that are going to become a part of this new universe and this new Star Wars community that's going to accept their new take on how they're going to handle this franchise moving forward. Now, Disney Plus, we do know that this is going to be the destination of a library's worth of Star Wars material. There's no doubt about that. They got already over a hundred, uh, already got over 10 different Star Wars titles in the works, and they actually are really focused on developing all these different titles within this decade. Now, when you look at it that way, Obviously, when we have all of these, you know, creators, hundreds of creators over at Lucasfilm working on this new Star Wars universe and these new Star Wars TV shows, these new Star Wars movies, interconnecting everything to really match it up against the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to take a lot of effort to really get it to that level, and it's going to take a high success rate to really kind of bring it up to the MCU. Now, with that being said, what's really intriguing, of course, is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the rise of Skywalker, they are now focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as their new Star Wars universe in general. Both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are currently hard at work on developing a better future for the Star Wars brand, and that they want it to reunite the Star Wars fans around the world. It's explained that recently, creator George Lucas hired Steven Spielberg to become a part of the new Star Wars universe for a brand new project that will debut on Disney+. Plus. Now, it's noted that Spielberg is set to serve as an executive producer for what is dubbed as an Old Republic TV series for Disney+, Plus that will be released in the next couple of years, where George wants Spielberg's creative input on the series, since Spielberg helped George Lucas with Re Re Revenge of the Sith and its ending and the storyboarding process of all of that for Anakin and Obi-Wan, which turned out to be one of the best lightsaber duels ever. Now, it's described that Spielberg will serve as, as an executive producer and even a co-writer for other projects. However, George has all eyes on the old Republic TV series for Disney Plus to explore this beloved timeline by many hardcore fans around the world. Now, it's noted that this plan by Lucas is to ensure that Star Wars can remain to be very successful with quality material that is being produced by creative individuals for this new EU that will evolve the Star Wars brand further. So let me just say one thing right now is that the Old Republic timeline is a very big timeline for a lot of hardcore fans out there. If a lot of you guys out there are really invested in the video games, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, we do know that the Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic, two very big Star Wars video games in the 2000s. And this really was the peak of Star Wars Legends. This is really where a lot of fans were really getting interested in it and really investing themselves on what was created over the years. And the fact that George is going to be bringing this back into this new Star Wars universe, it only tells us, the fans, as to exactly how ambitious the creators really are. Now, George, including Spielberg, I think is an excellent choice in order to offer his creative input and his creativity into these new Star Wars shows, especially the Old Republic TV series. You know, I think that obviously since Spielberg helped George with the storyboarding process of the very ending of episode three, and that's one of the big reasons as to why it is so good, is because you had the help between Lucas and Spielberg working together. So, when you think about it in that sense, right, you have Spielberg, you got Lucas working on this new series. I think it's going to be quite a prime TV show. I think it's going to be full of quality. I think it really is going to attract a lot of hardcore fans, and it's going to create new Star Wars fans, proper new Star Wars fans that actually love what Star Wars is all about and the overall philosophy of what Star Wars really is. So, 
Disney Plus is their best bet right now, apart from the movies. They're taking baby steps, that's exactly what they're doing. They're starting with The Mandalorian Season 2, then next year they got The Mandalorian Season 3, and of course then 2022 they got the Kenobi TV series, they're working on the Ahsoka Tano TV series. Eventually, believe it or not, they want to have three Star Wars TV shows a year releasing on Disney Plus, and they're kind of starting to do that. You know, they've already got The Bad Batch for 2021, they've got The Mandalorian Season 3 for 2021, and they're actually going for another untitled TV show for 2021 as well. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.